nine of the plate requirements of Architectural Design 6, I present to you Polar, a proposed futuristic transport terminal envisioned to be in New Horizon, Manila. As students of architecture, we tend to ponder about the future of the world and what architecture it has in store for us. We tend to think about the bigger pictures, futuristic, dynamic, and sometimes even thought as crazy unattainable architecture. As architects, we should instead see the problems that are right in front of us, give futuristic solutions, and see growth and development as small steps to improve our buildings while taking into consideration the effects it would bring our environment. With this in mind, my design philosophy is a quote from Tanda Ondo stating, we borrow from nature the space upon which we build. My concept of bloom represents the ever-growing and developing stages of life. The blooming flower may also represent the development of architecture through the years. My concept embodies biomimicry from its outer design down to its inner planning. The design mimics a lotus flower that uses its petals as helipads and the cone-shaped stem structure that helps transport nutritious xylem. These xylem pods will carry the people that will then use the aircraft, which are called pollen air, because they are the vehicles that transport people from place to place. The site is envisioned to be in New Horizon Manila, which is a project that is currently being built as a reclaimed area near Manila Bay. It is expected that the site will be booming and busy with great ocean views that will make an airborne transport useful and ideal. To share my story, my story begins with finding what the future needs and what the environment is calling for. And that, I believe, is green architecture with futuristic innovation. I then search pegs that spark my interest, which will ultimately help envision what I want from my project. Sketches were made to express the initial form, along with proposals of the innovation and technology I envision to exist in the future. These sketches help me in getting the final form and output I want to achieve. To bring you through my plans, here is my site development plan which features the buildings on site, namely the main building, mechanic shop and convenience store, parking building, commercial building, mini office building, and activity area on the bottom right. The plan also shows the three lotus towers with petal pads. From this plan, you will clearly see how sustainable the project is with its lush vegetation with green roofs, green ledges, solar panels, and canopy sheds. For the floor plans, the floor plans were color-coded according to public, semi-private, private, and utilities. The plants were designed to have lots of public areas where people can lounge and recreate. Aside from the transport terminal promoting efficiency with its commuters, the designer would also want this place to serve as a landmark for tourists and passers-by. For some special features on the right side, the project has plant-inspired solar sheds, water fountains, and LED column skin. These are the perspectives showing the atrium with skylight, car parking rotary system, admin office, and commercial space. The second floor shows how public areas are still prominent with its bridges that connect all the buildings. This is a perspective view of the bridge with solar canopy sheds as well as a view of the silent pod rotary area. Shown here is the third floor plan with features such as the magnetic LED spiral ramp for silent pods as well as the green canopy facade that will act as a rain buffer and aesthetic appeal for passers-by. This is a perspective view on those features. This is the fourth floor plan. And these are some aerial perspectives of the day and night time. This is a view of the helipad, which will lower the pollen air down to the repair area. This is the fifth floor plan, which features the bridge that connects the parking building to the main building for easy circulation. One futuristic feature in Polar is its pneumatic emergency exit tubes on each building for an efficient means of exit. The green roofing also provides rainwater buffer and regulates indoor temperature. This is a perspective view of the pneumatic tubes as well as the green roofing and perforated engineered wooden wall cladding. Next is the sixth floor plan of the main building. And for more innovations, we have the tinted photovoltaic glass panels to save energy and shield users from excessive sunlight. I also incorporated LED solar strip pads to provide illumination during the night. This is a perspective view of the photovoltaic glass panels as well as the Polar logo. On the other hand, the pictures on the right show the LED strip pads as well as the man's eye view perspective of the cone structures. The last floor plan shows the roof deck of the main building that features a skylight feature with floral design. This is a perspective view of the skylight floral design as well as a view of the solar canopy sheds along with normal solar panels. For the sections, this is the longitudinal section that features the escalators on the main building as well as the air traffic control tower on the left side. The sections are also color-coded according to private semi-private, public, and its utilities. For the cross-section, this features the rainwater collection system that collects water through the funnel and leads them to the underground water tank. 
collected water will then be filtered and used as an irrigation system for existing vegetation and water supply for water features. The next slide features the lotus petal helipad where polares will land and depart. On the right is a view of the interiors of a xylem pod as well as a view of the petal pad and polar. Lastly, shown on this slide is the elevations along with the materials that are planned to be used. Photovoltaic glass panels for the glass facade, engineered wood, in-ground LED strip light for ramp, self-healing bioconcrete, marble tiles for the interiors, and glass fiber reinforced concrete for the lotus towers. These are the final competition boards, the first board containing the overall concept with a short storyboard, the second board containing the technical information with the floor plans and sections, and the last board which includes the elevations with the list of features found along the site. To end the presentation, I present to you a walkthrough video showing Bloom Polar, a proposed futuristic transport terminal in New Horizon, Manila. This is an exterior view of the frontage of the site, featuring the three lotus towers and the solar canopy sheds. This is a clip on the transition of day and night time around the site. And seen here is how the LED strip lights help in illuminating the site. This is a view on how lush the vegetation is around the site. And this is an aerial perspective of the night time. This is a clip showing the vehicular axis along the site. The LED column skin is used for entertainment as well as illumination around the site. At the rear of the building is where the company name and the logo is located. This also features the green canopy ledges as well as various vegetation. This is a view of the car parking rotary system where cars are stacked on top of each other in a vertically rotating manner. This is a clip showing the travel of the silent pods to the petal pad area. LED magnetic pads are used to keep the silent pod in place. This is a clip showing the polar petal pads as well as the aircraft. The next clip is a view of the skylight atrium. This features touchscreen self-service information systems, as well as the futuristically designed metal detectors in the entrance area. This is a view on the LED escalators that illuminate the interiors at night. The skylight floral design is also seen in this area. The commercial areas also contain self-ordering systems in each table. This is a view of the admin office on the ground floor. And there is a clip of the activity area that features the plant-inspired solar sheds as well as the lotus-inspired water fountain. And shown here is the rear view of the main building. And that concludes my presentation. Thank you and have a great day ahead.